Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Summit function to create a dynamic chart. Now I've got the finished article on the screen at the moment where you can see in the yellow cell, I've got December 2024. If I change that to September 24, what will happen is the Summit function will look back the six months before September 2024 and show me the figures coming off this top list and the chart is picking that up so for example if I do that again if I go for October 24 it will look back from October 24 and give me those six monthly figures from this top list that's what the summit, summit function is doing the chart is just reacting to that information so what I'll do is I'll create all of this from scratch so I'll go on to a, a new sheet and I'll type it out from here. So if I start off by putting um, the 1st of Jan 24 across there, and then let's go the 1st of Feb 24. If I highlight those two, I can pull those two across and create my year, December. Now I want to format that slightly different to that. I just want it to, if I'm going to format cells, I just want to show the month and the year not the whole thing there so i'll just change that one two three m's forward slash two y's and it gives you it like that now i've actually typed that in i could have used the end of month function but let me just put some figures in underneath there so let's go one two three four and then one two five six just to get some numbers in Pick the step value up so we change it and so it's not just totally sequential let's just change a few of these to get some different numbers in okay so highlight the whole row that's going to be in pounds so click on that now the summary function i need to replicate this so i'm going to type in the um let's go to the end actually so let's go here that's going to be my trigger date so if i go start off with if I type in there December 24 that's the start date I'm going to use the end of month function here equals end of month open the bracket click onto the date that you want to look at do a comma and then you've got to give it how many months plus or minus so I want minus one month close the bracket click the tick that should come back it's not formatted to a date Format it to a date. It's not formatted as I want it. So I'll go back into format cells and do that same thing. So three M's forward slash two Y's. It's going to show me that. Then I should be able to pull that back. Oops, pull that back. So it's doing the same format like so. And I'll need to change that one as well. I could use a clone feature, but it's good practice to see how to do this. One, two, three, forward slash one, two. Click OK. So now what I want to do is get the information, this information, into this cell. So June, so this should come back with 1344 when I do it. So I'll type in equals sum if. Comes up with the, um, asking you for the range. So basically I'm looking at the range of dates. So I'll just highlight this list of dates. I could have named that comma. And then I'm clicking on this date here. That's the check comma. And then I'm highlighting the figures that I want it to add up. So I'm just highlighting that row, closing the bracket, clicking the tick and it should come back with that figure or not now the reason that is not working is because i use the end of month function there and i haven't used it there so it's not seeing that as the same so what i need to do is just quickly go back over here and do that it's being boy error equals end of month open the bracket click on december comma minus one so i have the same even though it looks the same, it is not the same. I pull that back over and then it picks that figure up. And then if I highlight that, move that into pounds, that will pick that up. And then I can pull that over to the rest of it. 
and the rest of it comes in. So just to test it, I'll go November forward slash 24, and then that works. So now I need to add the chart. So I'm highlighting just this bit, going insert chart, and just going to go finish on that. That will do. So now I can move this chart where I want it to be underneath there. I don't want that. Well, I don't want the title, so I can get rid of that. Delete that. What I do want though is to add the data labels. So add data labels like so. So now as I change this, if I go for August 24, that should look back from August and give me the information as you can see it's doing. And this is dynamic. So if I change um, that one, so 222, it automatically picks it up. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the SUMIF function to automatically create a dynamic chart. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.